everyone, Audi C7 owners back with another OBD11 how-to video, and today I'm going to show you how to enable your lap timer. This is a hidden menu that comes up on your instrument cluster that will not only display your oil temperature, but it will also show you your boost gauge uh, as they show it through the instrument cluster. This doesn't work for supercharged 3OTs. This only works for S6s, S7s, RS6s, RS7s. For those of you with a 3.0 supercharged engine, it'll still show the boost in the top left corner. It'll say boost, but nothing will come up there when you're running the car. Uh, but it will also show you your RPM shift points, and uh, we'll show you that in a video once we show you how to activate it because it's not always there. It's only there once you start to drive the car and get into a certain RPM range. So with that being said, the way you're going to do this is connect your OBD11 to your car and to the app. Click the blue circle button at the bottom right, and then... We are going to stroll down all the way to dashboard. Press on dashboard. Once that comes up, you're gonna click on the long coding. Once that comes up, you're gonna look down and find lap timer. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh from the top. It says not active. We're gonna press on it. We're gonna click active, hit okay. And then you're gonna hold the green check button until it says coding accepted. So now that you've done the coding to enable lap timer, this is how you access it on your instrument cluster. On the left side of your steering wheel, the little menu button, you're going to click it. It's going to bring up your vehicle functions and you're going to use the wheel on the left side of your steering wheel to scroll all the way down. And you should have the option for lap timer. Once you highlight it, you will click in your wheel and this is your lap timer. As you can see on the top left, it says boost. That's going to be your, uh, your boost pressure for those who have turbo cars. Uh, still shows your digital speedometer in the middle and the top right you can see your oil Temperature gauge now a word of warning with that It's not going to give you any number until it reaches an operating temperature and I think that's around 145 150 degrees Fahrenheit and it's kind of nice because I've been a little bit more aware now of when and when not to kind of give the car a little bit of extra gas because I'm a much more conscientious person about my oil temperature. Um, but then you use the wheel once again to scroll through all of the menu options for the lap timer. Now right here in the middle, that blank black space between your options on the bottom and the digital uh, speedometer readout, that's what's going to have your tack shift points. And it's going to come up as green bars and then eventually red bars when it's time to shift but those won't come up until you get to a certain rpm range and we'll show you what that looks like here in just a bit this is just a quick tutorial on how to actually use the split timer or i'm sorry the lap timer in your uh, menu here so if you look at the menu under this lap timer sub menu you can see all these options and they're all grayed out except for lap one so once you hit okay it'll start your lap timer so if you want to, once you're done with your lap, you can hit uh, OK again and it'll start a new lap. You can see those set up there. Uh, but if you scroll down, you can do a split time. So as you're moving, if you want to do a split time, you just click enter and it'll show your split time. Then you go back, uh, you can scroll down and you can pause your lap like that. And then you want to resume it, you just click on the wheel again and it'll keep going. And then you can go down all the way to statistics you bring that up it'll show you everything you've done so far and you can use your wheel to scroll through that you hit back you can see your lap timer is still going and if you want to end it you just hit reset and it'll start all over again okay guys so to enable your digital uh, shift point indicator you have to be in manual mode and when you're at a dead stop it's not going to come up but once you start moving you'll see the gray bars appear and then as you upshift and downshift and it gets over a certain rev uh, or rpm you're going to see it go from green and then eventually red as you get too high in your rpm band uh, now my car has a zf tune by burke and so my shift points are much higher than stock and the shift indicator is based on stock tune so you have to keep that in mind but I'm gonna try and do this uh, to where you guys can see it I'm gonna try and hold this camera and get some shifts to where you can see it and hopefully uh, get a good video of it the other thing is uh, you can see that the oil temperature is active showing 208 200 and, uh, yeah, about 208 degrees Fahrenheit and it should be about 20 degrees higher than your engine temperature which that's about normal and my uh, engine coolant is is uh, pretty much at rest it's about 193 degrees Fahrenheit the other thing is that your heads-up display will also show your lap timer information let me fix this here you can see the uh, oil temperature there once I start driving and it gets into manual mode you'll also be able to see the shift indicator there as well 
So let me see if I can show this to you guys. Okay, so you can see the gray bar is up there. Now let me see if I can show you on the heads up display what it looks like. Alright, so I know that's not the best quality video, but I hope it gives you guys an idea of how the lap timer works. Hope it shows you how easy it is to engage it if you've got the OBD11 tool. And you guys just you know let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. See you at the next video.